A great way to approach any exercise is to work through it methodically. Now what I mean here is taking a variation, uh, for instance open hi-hats and placing the open hi-hat on one and then one and and then two. So that way you're sort of covering all your different variations that you could get across the bar. We're going to try that same uh, idea with kick drums. So we're going to take two kick drums and progressively move them across the bar. All right, so each variation was played four times there and with eighth notes on the hi-hat. So you could try exactly the same thing with quarters, eighths, sixteenths, offbeat. I'm going to try it again with sixteenths, double-handed sixteenths on the hi-hat. Now this actually presents uh, an extra challenge in that a lot of the time when you're playing uh, particularly double-handed sixteenths, your natural kick drum patterns will fall on your right hand. Uh, for instance, something like this. So nothing wrong with those sort of beats, but each time you're playing a kick, it's actually landing on your right hand, and you're you're missing out on a lot of a di lot of different variations, and particularly uh, if some other instruments like the bass is playing a different rhythm, you want to be able to cover that. All right, so let's try same idea as our first exercise. This time we'll put a single kick at the start, and then the variation in the second half of the bar, and we'll play it with a double hand at sixteenths to get that right and left coordination happening. All right, if you're looking for a transcription of this lesson, just go to my website, daveclarkdrums.com.